little boy, he sits broken. You know he's having a hard time. They sit him home from school. We want to welcome you to another episode of Music Scene. I'm Johnny Cole with Southland Music Line. We're here in Jacks by the Tracks in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Very popular spot for live music and the great food entertainment here on the Gulf Coast. We're visiting with Abe Partridge. Abe is somebody I've got to meet here recently, um, probably about maybe about a month ago, five six weeks ago. But I heard, been hearing about you for like six seven months continuously by a good friend of ours that we share. Uh, by uh, a man named uh, Jim Pennington, the listening room in Mobile, yeah. Alabama. And uh, it's great to see you and appreciate you taking the time to visit with us. Um, Thank you. You know, uh, you got started uh, basically recently in the music scene here on the Gulf Coast, but you have a very fascinating past, an interesting story that leads up to your music career, which is, yes. you mind sharing that with us? Yeah, um, well, my mother taught piano all my life, but. Uh, I was I never never uh, learned it from her, but I come from a kind of a musical family. You right. know? But uh, I left home when I was 18 and uh, to pursue a theological education. Right. And uh, and I finished it, and uh, then I ended up uh, doing that until I was about 25, and uh, I became a pastor in in uh, an Appalachian region of Kentucky. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, and then after a couple of years of that, and uh, um, a near uh, mental mental kind of breakdown or something, I uh, push reset, reset on life. Right. And, uh, I moved back to Mobile and uh, didn't really have any uh, marketable skill or anything, you know. So I joined the Air Force and. Uh, I've, I've spent the last uh, eight years there. Okay, so you left uh, Europe, the Middle East actually, and you came back to here on the Gulf Coast, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Because you got started recently, about was it about October? You uh, were, took yeah. part of, a, of the Gulf Coast music shootout or songwriter shootout? Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about that there. A friend told me about an event called the Gulf Coast Songwriter Shootout that was to happen in, back in October at the hot spot uh, at the wharf in Orange Beach, and so I, uh, I kind of enrolled on a whim, you know, and didn't hear anything back, and then uh, was afraid that I wouldn't even make the cut to get invited, you know, and then, uh, but 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 I did. I, I got invited, and I played there in October, and uh, played with ten other or nine other songwriters, and I was the last one to perform, and uh, my nerves were were terrible, you know, but. Uh, it, it went it went over well, and that night I kind of realized that uh, that uh, you know maybe I had a little gift or something, and uh, I, I won, I advanced to the final round that night, and uh, met a guy named Sean Byrne from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, who uh, invited me up to his home in Nashville. I stayed in his home and recorded. And he produced a record for me. And uh, that's that's how it all started. So you so you rec so you met uh, Sean, and what happened from there? Oh well, he uh, came up and spoke to me at, uh, after. As soon as I got down off the stage, he was right there beside my wife, and and uh, he was so enthusiastic about uh, about my music that I um, I really didn't know how to take him, and the, and he and he. Made all you know. Talk, talked about coming up there and recording with him, and then so when I, whenever I got home, uh, I googled him and all that, and all found, that stuff. <laughs> found out that he was legit, you know. And, right, uh, right. And so yeah, then I contacted him, and it all came together. And so you went to Nashville, recorded the album. Yeah, the he's album. one of my best friends now. That's he's, awesome. Yeah, he's, he's a great. And guy. the album is called. The album is called White Trash Lipstick. A very interesting title. Yeah. But you how long did it take you to record this album, actually? We recorded it in about three days. Wow, that's one of those real quick ones. Yeah. 
really cool album from the, uh, the ending of the album. You recorded a part of it at third uh, at the Third Man Studios. And at third Man Records. Third Man yeah. Records, yeah. I yeah. recorded in a in a record booth, the same one that was used by Neil Young to record his one of his albums. That's really cool. I've never yeah. been to Third Man Records before. Yeah. It's cool. And of course, you also had a featured a good bass player by. Yeah, the bass player on my record is named Dave Rowe, and he was Johnny Cash's bass player for the last 14 years of his life. That's that's really amazing. You mind uh, maybe sharing a song from that album? I'd love to hear the title track. Absolutely. Well, I was headed up the country just a waste of no way, man. This city life's a downer. I could use a vacation. My truck broke down in some remote location. Now I'm falling in love. You were sitting on your front porch the first time I saw you. You wore a wrinkled t-shirt advertising marijuana. And that trailer park you lived in was like a little Tijuana. But I'm falling in love. Baby with that white trash lipstick, it looks mighty fine on you. No, baby, I don't understand it, but I think it, I'm falling for you, and that's all right. You came a-strutting up to me, said, let me look into your hood, and I could tell by your walk. You wasn't no good, you didn't move the way that a young girl should. But I'm falling in love. You had a sheen on your face like you'd been cooking over fryers. Your feet were all cut up from walking through them briars. And that tattoo on your back of the Queen of Diamonds had me falling in love. Baby with that white trash lipstick, it looks mighty fine on you. And oh baby, I don't understand it, but I think it, I'm falling for you, and that's all right. I couldn't help myself when I seen Your lips were painted like a white trash masterpiece And I've been trying to live up to my family name See my daddy, he's a banker He's the best in his trade, and I know he's got a lot of money, but I will never be his favorite, cause I'm falling in love. And my mama always told me the gospel truth, said don't smoke or drink, or go with them girls that do. I guess I'm going astray, but just a little too soon, cause I'm falling in love. Baby with that white trash lipstick, it looks mighty fine on you. And oh, baby, I don't understand it, but I think it, I'm falling for you, and that's all right. And I could tell that you didn't have the greatest of schooling And your blonde hair dye wasn't doing much fooling But you were swinging that ratchet like you knew what you was doing And I'm a-fallin' in love And then you slammed my hood, said turn it over now And you were covered up in grease but I sure didn't care. I said, baby, hop in this truck and let's a get out of here. Because I'm falling in love. Man, that is a really great song. I love that song. I think everything on that album was, is just uh, 
I, I know when I first you first gave me a, a copy of the CD, CD a few weeks ago, like so many, I've given a lot, and and I I put it, you know, I had it in my car, and I said, wait, I haven't listened to this to the CD yet, and I put it in, and I went like, oh my, wow, it's really really good, and I finally got to see you perform live, and that was that was a good thing because I had a. Um, the band Rimshaw Davies was playing. Mm -hmm. uh, you open for them, mm -hmm. and they had. Uh, I had just seen them perform about, I don't know, about a month ago down in New Orleans. They opened up for Escondido, good, great oh, band. Yeah. And so I wanted to see them at the listening room, and I heard they were playing over there. Well, on top of that, I got to hear you. Yeah. And it was really kind of funny. Was the fact that as great as they are, they're really a good duo. Oh yeah, absolutely. Lovely duo. But the problem, the funny thing about it was, as. Uh, after you got through with the, that powerhouse song you do at the end of your set, which is <laughs> Escambia County, is yeah, the title, yeah. you, uh, they got up there and said, well, how do we follow that? You know, <laughs> it really was a, kind of a funny thing, but it yeah. was, and of course they did a great job, but that's, that is a yeah. super album. Of course, you Thank also you. got the Psychedelic Peacocks. Yes. Can you tell us a little about, about them and who's in there and uh, yeah, sure. I think one of those people in that band is we are familiar with. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, we uh, start we got, we started a rock and roll band, and I write uh, I write rock and roll tunes as well, you know. And uh, so I start we started a band with a, a long, two longtime friends, uh, uh, Dave Garrett and uh, T.J. Scruggs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Dave Garrett plays lead guitar, and T.J. Scruggs plays drums. And uh, it was funny the way it happened. It was. Uh, we, we were all reservists over at Keesler Air Force Base, right. and uh, we had to we had to put on a show that TJ was responsible for, and one of the bands that was going to play there, um, T, that TJ was having to come, uh, the guy broke his arm, and so uh, me and uh, Dave had played a, played a, a lot of, of stuff around for years uh, yeah. at his house and stuff, and so we just kind of. Uh, Told TJ to get a, get get the drumsticks and come over to Dave's house and play the drums and uh, that was his first time ever playing back. It was oddly enough back in October as well. So, so we started the band and then uh, here a few months ago, uh, Robbie came and painted us at Robbie uh, Amonet. Uh, Robbie yeah. Amonet uh, came and painted us at one of our shows and he said, "Man, I'd love to play bass with y'all." And so. It was the perfect fit, you know, because Robbie. Uh, we all sound great. I know Robbie. Robbie has been loving to do uh, music forever. You know, yeah, he does, yeah. And he is a good musician himself. And uh, okay, with the Peacocks, what you got coming up uh, soon? Oh, uh, with a uh, scheduled right now, we have uh, we're playing the Juke Joint on Friday night, and uh, we got some stuff coming up at the Julep Room. And I've got a uh, couple of uh, solo uh, shows I'm doing with Sean Byrne out of Nashville, Tennessee at the Sanctuary in Montgomery on the 17th of June. And then on the 18th of the June, we'll be at the Callahan's in, in Mobile. And uh, then in September, we're going to be recording the, uh, the Psychedelic Peacocks. We'll be recording our first full-length LP in Nashville with, with Sean Byrne again. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Okay, what's the difference between the Peacocks? We've already been talking about you and your solo career, but you, there's a little bit of a difference between you and the, uh, what you do on your own and what you do with the Psychedelic Peacock. Can you maybe tell us a little difference? Yeah, yeah my, uh, my solo stuff is uh, singer-songwriter bass probably fall in the vein of folk or Americana yeah. style music and then uh, with with the psychedelic peacocks uh, Jim Pennington of the listening room had the best description of it I thought and he said it was a Holy Ghost tent revival meets a weird carnival sideshow <laughs> yes that's that's good good analysis yeah so you know I I know when uh, um, when you when you when I saw you a few uh, a couple weeks ago I thought you had the uh, uh, was it uh, was your drummer? He was wearing this mask and he had the, the lights <laughs> yeah. and he had all this stuff going. It was really uh, it was really kind of like, I guess psychedelic's a good term for it. You yeah, know? that's what we're kind of going for, uh, to try to make it as uh, as memorable and as energetic as possible. Okay, so where can we find uh, any information about you? How do we get your uh, CD and so forth? On www.abepartridge.com has everything pertaining to me along with the psychedelic peacocks we have all of uh, our merch for sale there we have cds you can download my record so all the good stuff all the social media stuff is all located there so it's easy yes. to be found well, man, all the links and everything hey i appreciate you taking the time to talk yes, with us sir. it's been fun uh, i really do appreciate it man thank you johnny 
This is Johnny with the music scene.